Hello, hello. My name is Eden Strader. I am a destination wedding photographer and educator, and I am so excited to have you here. I'm walking you through my true to color presets, which are just my babies. I am convinced they're the best presets. They are going to change your life because if I love anything, it is a bold stylistic image that is true to life, true to color. God knows I love a bold image with color. So this is a clean, beautiful way of editing that keeps your images looking poppy, your clients looking amazing, their skin tones looking perfect. So I want to just walk you through editing a sneak peek for my clients, Erica and Josh, with the presets. So within the clean preset pack, there are two different kinds of presets. There are the creamy presets and the true to color presets. The true to color presets are really minimalistic. And so I use them a lot for product shoots, studios, things like this. Here we can even show you a crisp and clean preset right here. It's super minimalistic, whereas the creamy is a little bit more stylistic. It's true to my portfolio. This is what I use in my portfolio for my weddings and things. So I'm going to show you how I would edit a session, in this case, a sneak peek with my presets. Okay, so we're just gonna start out by applying the creamy preset here and we need to, let's make sure my brightness are up. First, let's control this temperature. And the thing with these presets is that I wanted them to be able to be used very quickly with minimal tweaks. So obviously things are gonna be have to like tweak depending on lighting and what you're shooting in, but I don't want you to have to edit that much. That's why we have things like the blue hour, harsh light, split light, and we're gonna walk through those a bit as we walk through these images. So here, since we were shooting in some moody light, I'm just gonna bring down the highlights a hair bring back up this exposure and then I actually am going to raise the tint as well since we are shooting on some grass on an overcast day it is a little green so we'll bump that up twice and there we go this image is already done we're actually just going to go back and copy this guy head on over to the next image because it's a very similar situation and lighting Paste. We're going to bring down this exposure a hair. And there we go. We're already done on this image as well. So if I hover over the creamy here, you can kind of see it was a little bit poppier, a little bit more contrasted. So since we brought down those highlights a little, it's clean and ready to go. All right, here the sun was starting to just peek through a little bit throughout the clouds. So we might need to tweak this a little. Yep. So we're going to bring the exposure down. I'm going to warm it up a little. It looks a little cool here. And bring this down again and then I'm gonna come into Erica's eyes a bit here also could she be more stunning her skin I just literally cannot handle it so we are just going to paint over her eyes here brighten them up a hair click our way out of this. So now we've taken this image from this raw to here. All right, here I wanted some photos of just Erica, but as you can see, the sun came out and because we were on the grass, we had so much green bounce back. So this first one click preset is gonna look gnarly. We're gonna have to do a lot of work in the temperature and tint. So we're gonna bring down this temperature, cool it up a little, and we're gonna have to raise this tint quite a bit in order to even out her skin tone with the bounce back from the grass. So let's get our exposure proper as well. All right, let's warm it up just a hair. We're still looking pretty green. And you're just gonna kind of bounce back and forth between these two. And then I'm actually going to come into the hue as well and just turn our reds a little bit more red and maybe even turn our oranges just a hair more red as well, just so that we're bringing that natural color a little bit back. I'm also going to come in and bring the yellow up just a hair since it is a little bit lower on this preset. So we've taken this image from here to here just by tweaking a few things. That is the magic of these presets. All right, here we are in a bit of a cloudier situation. So let's go ahead and do our creamy preset. And because it was kind of overcast and contrast, we're going to bring down the highlights and maybe bring down the contrast for now and then raise that exposure and then let's fix our temperature. Raise the tint just a hair. 
All right, there we go. And I want to bring in a little bit more of the yellow again. So let's bring that forward. And another option that you could do here is creamy blue hour. That brings in a little bit more warmth into the images. So we can actually bring that down, the contrast down, sorry. And then we're going to lower the temperature, bring down the highlights just a hair like we did when we just did just creamy. So we've taken it from here to here. And let me show you the difference between when we had this is just creamy regular this is creamy blue hour so it's a very very subtle difference but it introduces a little bit more of a natural warmth for those images where you don't have the sun and so it's looking a little bit cool in the shadows so we've got this image the next image is fairly similar so we're going to copy this head right here paste this And in this situation, I'm actually going to go back to just the creamy regular preset because this one was naturally a hair warmer. We can actually come down into the shadows though and we'll just add, no, let's do midtones. We're just gonna add one more stop of orange into there. And we're gonna bring down the highlights just a hair to get more detail in there, raise the exposure once, and then we're good to go. We've taken it from that to that. Okay, with this image, we can actually probably go back, snag our settings from here. I might even lower that contrast just one little stop right there because it's looking pretty contrasty with that cave light. Okay, let's go back to this image, paste here. It was a bit underexposed because the lighting situation was changing really rapidly here. So. We want to come into the hue because these flowers are purple and make sure that the purple is back in line back to center because again the whole thing with these presets is that they're true to life so we're going to get those going let's bring up the yellow just a hair these ones in particular i think we can warm up just a bit because the shade was so strong and then i'm going to make it a little bit rosier so we've taken it from that to that and then as we move into these next images the sun came out a little bit more so let's just put creamy on this real quick We're gonna raise the exposure, raise the tint, lower the temperature just a hair so it's a bit more true to life. And then let's come back down, make sure that the purple is evened out where it's supposed to be. I'm going to raise that saturation all the way because I love the pop of the flowers here. And then we've got that image. So now the sun totally came out and this is where the presets get really, really fun. Let me brighten this up because it was a bit underexposed. So here we can work with a few different options. We have the creamy harsh light. So if you like more of a moodier look where we can't see everything in the shadows, which I personally love, creamy harsh light is gonna be great. Creamy split, split light will also work if you are more of an airy photographer and you really want to be able to see what's in the shadows as well. So that's personally not my jam. I love the harsh light preset because I am obsessed with poppy blacks and like really light lights. So I like a bit of contrast. So we're gonna do just the harsh light on this one. We're gonna raise this. Let's come in here. I'm gonna raise the orange a little as well as make sure we've got our purple evened out here. So see how we've taken this image from this to this? That's already such a huge shift. And if you wanted, you could raise the highlights and then lower the exposure to make that even more contrasty, make that even poppier. So I kind of want to mix between the two. I don't want it to be too extreme. And then you can always lower the texture a little bit too if you need, if it starts looking a little too HDR-ish. So now we've got this beautiful image from here to here. So we're going to go ahead and copy this right here because we're going to head into another harsh light image. We're going to go ahead and paste this here. And it's a little overexposed, and by that I mean a lot. So we're gonna just bring this down a little bit more. And for some reason, their skin was photographing, kind of like the color's gone a little. So we're just gonna come into that orange, bring a little bit more orange back. We're gonna raise the temperature. We're gonna come into this adjustment brush and just fill Josh's face just a little so we get a bit more of that detail back. Because it was in the shade and harsh light too, we can even warm it up a hair. Perfect. So we have taken this image from this to this, and that is basically just the harsh light preset, just a little bit tweaked. And then this is what the split light would look like. So again, if you're the type of photographer that likes a lot of detail in the shadows, that's a great option as well. 
Okay, so here we headed indoors for some portraits of them. So what we are going to do here, let's just try out creamy. It's probably going to be pretty warm, potentially even a little green. Yeah, so we're going to bring down the temperature, bring up the tint, and then let's get our exposure where we want it. So I'm going to bring down the highlights because I don't want to lose all of this in the background. And then we're just going to raise this a hair. I'm also going to come into the luminance, lower the yellows just a hair and the greens actually so that we don't lose those flowers. Let's straighten this guy out a little bit more. And here where we were shooting indoors, we can probably cool it down even a hair more. And maybe even bring the saturation down a stop as well as the reds up and I'm going to go ahead and turn the reds a little bit more red so that we can keep her lip color looking fresh. So we've taken the image from this to this and you can even come in here with this adjustment brush. And I would probably paint her face just a hair. I'm going to lessen that. I didn't need it to be that extreme. Perfect. So we've taken this image from here to here. Actually, let's go back and grab that. I always forget. And we're going to snag this one of Erica as well. So it should be fairly similar since we're just copying and pasting here. Perfect. And I am going to come down actually since I was shooting kind of from above and on a 24. We're looking a little bit warped. So I'm just going to move that out a little. And plus, since this was a pregnancy announcement, it's not the worst thing to have her belly looking a little bit bigger. She was just popping. So let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to come and straighten this out. I'm going to base it off that bottom. Perfect. So now this image has gone from here to here. I'm actually going to come down here, raise that yellow bit so that we get that back in there. And let's go ahead and go back and do that as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy this. Head into the next image. Gorgeous. We were able to literally just paste that. All I'm going to do is brighten up her eyes a bit and we are going to be good to go. So let me go ahead and show you on this image as well what each of these presets would look like if we applied them right here. So right here, the creamy, not a huge shift. Blue hour, little warmer. We've also brought down the highlights quite a bit. So you could always raise those a hair if you wanted. Um, we have the harsh light, which I would not use indoors because it's such low contrast and split light, which I also, again, would not use in here. Let me show you what the crisp and clean would look like on this as well. So as you can see, it's like way more true to life and true to color, whereas this has a little bit of style to it. So here we photographed Josh and Erica just in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and paste what we used by the window. And we're looking a little off as far as temperature and tint goes. So let's go ahead and see what the creamy preset just straight out the gate looks like. So I can show you how I'd edit this from scratch. I'm going to bring down the highlights a little. And for this image in particular, I'm going to bring down the contrast because it's looking a little bit punchier than normal. We had some more directional light going on. I'm going to go ahead and brighten up right there under Josh. That got a little too much on Erica's face, so let's go ahead and erase that. Perfect. Let's come down into our HSL sliders. Let's bring up that yellow because we want that plant to be popping. And I'm going to actually bring down the orange a little, as well as make those reds just a little bit more red one more time. So let's go ahead and straighten this out just a hair. And I'm actually going to cool it down just a stop or two. So this is what the creamy preset would look like if we clicked on it right now. Just a little bit more contrasty. This is what we've got it looking like now. We're going to go ahead and copy this. Head to the next image. There's a gorgeous close-up of them. Can you get over how cute they are? This is the cutest couple of my life. It's totally fine. All right, they're looking a little washed out here now. So we're going to come back into the saturation bump up that orange saturation one more time so that we don't have dull skin tones. And then I'm going to come in here, I'm going to brighten up Josh's face, and then I'm going to brighten up Erica's as well, but a little bit. I'm going to do it separately just since her face is a little bit more dull lighting and his was a bit more contrasty lighting. So now we've got these cuties right here looking good, looking fresh. So we've taken it from here to here. This is what Creamy would look like if we just one clicked it right now. 
I might actually raise that contrast just one more and then we're going to copy it, head to the next image, go ahead and paste on that. And that's going to be it for that one. That just needs a little bit of tweaking with exposure. I think I might even raise the tint just a hair. And then I'm personally going to crop out that guy right there. Brighten up down there. All right, now we head upstairs into their second outfit. This is where we did more baby announcement photos. So let me paste that. That actually does look pretty good. But let's go ahead and just add the creamy preset. I like kind of like the contrast of that because it's making the whites look really poppy. I'm going to warm it up just a little. Rotate this and then we've got that. That's literally just done right there. That was it. That was basically a one click preset. This is what it looks like to one click it. No different. A one click preset. Literally my favorite thing about this is that these presets have made my editing time absolutely phenomenal. It takes next to no time to edit a session. So we're just gonna paste this one from the last one, bring the exposure down. Let's go ahead and bring that back up now. Let's lower the temperature just a hair, and then we're good to go on that one as well. That one's gone from this to this. Let's go ahead and copy that one more time. Let's head to the next image. This is them announcing the sex of the baby, so exciting. So we're just gonna go ahead and paste right here as well. Okay, we're looking a little underexposed, so let's go ahead and raise that exposure. If we one click the creamy preset, that is what it looks like. So really no different. We're still kind of working with that. I'm going to make sure that purples and magentas are all the way up because the confetti, as well as bring the magentas just down a little, the purples down a little so that we don't lose that gorgeous confetti. And then I'm even going to just bring that orange saturation up a hair to get a little bit more color in their faces. Let's head to this next one. Same thing. We're just going to paste this from the last one. We're going to crop in just a little bit here. Love the confetti on the top of the ceiling. This was, I was dying. The confetti was so strong. It literally stuck to their ceiling. It was stuck in their fan. It was amazing. And then we're going to go ahead and paste this here as well. Let's lower that exposure. That was obviously way too exposed. And this is a great tip for beginning photographers. They always underexpose. If I'm going through a new photographer's portfolio, I will bet money that they always underexpose because they don't want to lose details and highlights. You're probably underexposing your photos. Pay attention to that and just make sure that you are exposing for their skin, okay? So like for these particular skin tones that they have, this is the proper exposure. Whereas if it's down here, that is too much. That does not look right. That is too underexposed. So we want to bring it back up to here. I'm also just going to bring up my blues just a little so we get more of the blues from their little cute overalls. So we're going to copy this. Head right here for one last image. And there we go. We just have to adjust that exposure just a little bit. Crop this in and we are good to go. That is it, you guys. We were able to edit that in just a few minutes. That's 22 photos for my clients. And as you can see, these presets are amazing at doing basically a one click. And then you can copy and paste from there. That is my favorite thing about these presets is that they have sped up my editing time exponentially. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. You can also find the preset link in my bio. I will see you next time.